make sure I got it. Always make sure that you get it. Like keys, wallet, stuff like that. Posted up at Iowa 80, right here in Wycock, Iowa. There we go. All right, can you, can you hear me clear? I know y'all can hear me clear because this bad boy right here is sweet. I am loving it. I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's up in this bed. Yeah, I'm getting ready to head up into the spot right quick. Right now it's uh, five. It's six o'clock right now i'm running on recaps right now so usually when i'm running on recaps i'm doing pretty good let's go let's go let's go here's another video another question video check it out this question right here comes from subscriber i really can't tell your name right ss if that's your name that's cool ss he right. I've been watching a lot of your videos and want to say great work. Currently, I'm about to embark on a new journey and begin my trucking career. With that being said, do you mind sharing the list of excellent questions that you ask the recruiters when inquiring about their company. Well, thank you, brother man. I do appreciate the comment. And uh, I'm about to share that with you right now. Usually when you when you call them up, they're they gonna wanna do all the talking. So I'm gonna let you know that right now. They're gonna wanna tell you how how great the company is, how much they can you know, start you off with, just to, you know, get you in the, get you in that seat. So basically you just don't wanna, you don't wanna go in there blind, pretty much. So with these questions that I have generated uh, over the course of two seasons of Lockout Men Mates to Call, I, I think these are some good questions. A brand new person that don't have no CDLs and you thinking about going to a CDL sponsored trucking school, these questions right here is what you might want to ask. Do you offer CDL training, travel, meals, and hotel cover? Or will I be paid during CDL schooling? What is my obligation to the company? How long I got to work for the company before I pay that debt off? What happens if you don't fulfill that obligation? Definitely want to find that out because if you don't fulfill it, they'll mess up your credit. These are the questions that you want to know uh, when you get hired. You want to know what's the higher area, where's the terminals located? That's a key question. Terminals, the main terminal. Is there a sign on bonus? And if so, how much? And how is it paid out? That's good to know. But what you really want to know is how is it going to be paid out? You want to know if they do hair follicle and or urine tests for the pre-employment. Is there an agility test? Some recruiters get stumped on that question. They make you do a duck walk test and to see if you can get in and out of the trailer as well as in and out of the truck. If you're a felon, what's your, what's your policies on felons? Where's the orientation held at? Is it held at the main terminal or at your at a home terminal or a terminal near you. But during orientation, if you're an experienced driver, do you have to share, share the hotel room, the room with another potential driver? Is the orientation paid for? If you're a brand new driver, and of course if you're coming out of school, you know, you're gonna wanna know how long's the wait time for a trainer? The wait time for a trainer could be like a day to like a month or how long that trainer 
had been a trainer. Like in my situation years ago, dude was like brand new to training and it didn't work out for me and him. You wanna know if that person has more than six months, has more than a year, two years or whatever. You want a good trainer. What's the pay doing training? After training, are you forced to team? You're gonna wanna know the CPM. If it's a base CPM, not an up to CPM. You see what I'm saying? You wanna know the base CPM. What is the CPM before the incentives? Is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale? Pay more for short miles and you get paid less for long miles. Do they offer pay advances? Per diem, you definitely gonna wanna know that. Vacation and holiday pay? Hmm. You, you could throw that in there. Definitely find out what holidays they pay out. Breakdown and detention pay. You wanna know the benefits. Key question about the benefits is you wanna know how much is the benefits. Do they require hazmat? Some companies will offer the, you know, the pony up the amount for the hazmat. How many miles a week a, a driver can average? What lanes available? Dedicated lanes, regional lanes. Are all miles paid and is it calculated? Find out about that because not all miles is paid, especially if they, if they do zip to zip. Do they reimburse for scales and toes? Home time policy, you wanna ask them that. Pet and rider policy, if if you want to bring somebody with you, force dispatch is it force dispatch to NYC and or California. Policy for turning in the truck if you decide to quit. Have do they have autos or manuals, amenities inside the truck? You definitely going to want to know if it comes with a inverter because we got a lot of electronics. We we need we need stuff that needs to be charged, right? Driver cam, that's a new question. What's the trucks governing that? Yeah, those are the questions that you, you know, you, you want to ask while you're researching these recruiters and these companies out here. SS man, I hope, uh, I hope this video helps you all right. I appreciate you guys hollering at me. I appreciate the questions and everything. So definitely keep them coming, man. I'll go ahead and try to answer them for you, all right? I'm about to go ahead, grab something to eat right here at the Iowa 80 kitchen. So I'm about to chill, about to get on up out of here. You guys take it easy and I'll come back at you in another video. Peace. Yes, we urge to merge. We live for the love of the baby wants some gone, I ain't coming back. You gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back.